Hey, I'm Johnny B. I'm Johnny Smacks. We are the two Johnnies. Each other. <laughs> no, um, before the two Johnnies, I used to be a butcher in a super value. And I actually worked in Cork before, in Middleton. And loved it. I loved it, yeah. I loved it. The, the, the ignorance, the, you know, all the questions from old ladies. Don't trust anyone in Cork. You know what I mean? Whereas back in Tipperary, they'll take you at face value down here. Oh, all that's tough. Before I was in the Two Johnnies, I was a hurley maker. Never sold any hurleys to Cork. You have this crazy shape at the back. Mickey Joe Hart. If we could add a third Johnny, definitely be Mickey Joe Hart. He's a good friend of ours. He's a great singer. He's got charisma. He also wears black. Yeah. Johnny Joe Hart doesn't, doesn't quite hit. definitely have to just drop all names two Johnnies one Mickey my other favourite Johnnies would probably be Johnny Logan oh, yeah. the only Irish man to rock leather pants um, I met a woman who came up to me and was like oh you're two Johnnies my dog is named Johnny after Johnny Sexton not you yeah. which was weird you John remember? Creedon John Creedon from course yes. he is like a jukebox of stories just hit him and he'll tell you a story podcast is unreal it's the best thing you'll ever hear in the world it comes out every Monday at the Two Johnny's podcast it's all things Irish it's crack we get listeners dilemmas we interview people there's comedy there's music yeah there's loads of insults we insult loads of people uh, we tune in we'll insult you too yes my dream guest Mary Black she wants to just start answering my texts <laughs> anytime Mary that'll be fine we did ask about her availability and uh, I think she said it wasn't her thing I'd like to have James Corden on and if he would return the favour and possibly have us on the Le Le Show in America we've done the Irish one it's just the American one left now we'll do carpool karaoke no? mm. he has a Isuzu Trooper out the back we cruise around in that it's no bother lad get the three of us in the front seat it's a car oh my god absolute mayhem is in the title but it says mayhem so there'll be stand up comedy there'll be live interviews we're going to have a live band there's going to be live music it's Everything, a lot of yeah. live stuff <laughs> in, in, in that. It's going to be great crack. There'll be a lot of laughs, a lot of laughs, and you'll be up dancing. You wouldn't know who you'd meet there. It's going to be like, it's a whole new format of a show, like nothing you've ever seen before. And when he says, when Mayhem are on the poster, there is a 90s heavy metal band called Mayhem. It's not, it's them. not them. It's not them, okay? It's not them. Like, at our last live show in Vicar Street, we had live snakes. We yeah. had them around our neck the whole lot. We're, we're bringing back a dinosaur for this one yeah we're going to reanimate a pterodactyl and fight it live on stage there you go so deal with that cork you wouldn't see uh, Cat Stevens with that would you <laughs> Diana Ross won't have a python around her neck will she? <laughs> she she could she might actually yeah. yeah she'd handle it too do you know what I, I can't do it hang on, hang on I used to play when I was in a band I used to play uh, down on Cook Street in the Rob Ride do you know what and you'd go in and your man would say I can't do it. Hang on, you're mad. You're mad. I'd say, um, where are you from? And I'd say, I'm from Tip. And he'd say, I'm from Cork myself. <laughs> like, obviously you're from Cork, lad. You're not from Egypt with that accent. <laughs> I like how Cork people always tell you they're from Cork. It's like the first thing out of their mouth. I'm from Cork myself. You have to be the young offenders, mate. Oh my God, what a show. We're on a place in their fish and chip fan. What do you mean, Morehead? Don't oh, say that to me. I don't know, Con. Definitely the young offenders. That's North Cork, yeah, there. Yeah, there you go, boy. It's, it's Cork, innit? I don't know, is Probably it? more Cork than that African accent you just did. <laughs> There's lads throwing their phone out the window yeah. after watching this so now. I, they don't know nothing about Cork. We're from Tip. We've only got one note. Your accent is like Cork. Ours is like... Uh, flat. Flat. Uh, yeah, our, our buddy Noel can't be here today. He's busy getting up to no good. He's also barred from Cork. Yeah. Uh, Noel is uh, quite the character. He's elderly, won't tell us his age, doesn't mince his words. You'll find the likes of him in every GA club in Ireland. Thinks he knows it all, constantly gets everything wrong. Yeah. And, uh, we all live, I think everybody knows a Noel. Everybody's got a Noel in their life. That inappropriate uncle or, you know, guy who says, does weird dancing at a wedding and then insults you. You know, Noel's the type of man who say when a child is born, oh, he, he, he's like you, same double chin as you. That's, yeah. that's the kind of man he is. A buzzing. It's going to be unbelievable. This in my life is going to be up there with the night we won the South Junior B Hurling and I was manager. And, uh, you, this is going to be the greatest night of our life. It's got like, because of all the stuff we always want to do, all these mad ideas, and you never have like the time or the budget, you know, the room to do them. But now like, the marquee's huge. Have you seen the marquee? It's massive. We could actually have the budget to do whatever. We're going to yeah. fly in like. Peter Andre. Peter Andre could be there. And Morgan Freeman. 
he, he probably can't afford him now. We don't have the budget for that. Ever but since no, I, I was a young boy, <laughs> I've been listening to the two Johnnies. Like, he could be there. Clint Eastwood could come in yeah. on a unicycle with a snake around him like, and just be like, eh, just snarling away. Like, do you know what I mean? Joe Pesci might be there. He might. Just want to say they won't be there. Right, right from Coronation Street. <laughs> we can probably, probably afford him. He's probably in the budget. You know, yeah, we've got a lot of seats, a lot of tickets to sell. Excited and nervous. Ask us how excited we are if this thing sells out. This thing sells out. We're going to be going around Cork in a convertible. Just shouting at lads. This is how we do it. Yeah. We're Throwing going to, euros at people. Like rappers. We're going to be like two rappers, two gangster rappers going around if this sells out. No, we're excited. We can't wait. As Johnny said, we're going to blow the top off that marquee. When you walk out on the stage and it's full, like you can feel the energy in the air. You can almost, it's mental. You can almost like swim through it. You can cut through the noise, the energy. So to go out and perform to a crowd like that, that's what you're living for. You're at home writing material in the bedroom, doing it in the mirror, trying to get good. You're waiting for these opportunities. Like if this is going to be amazing. You're absolutely buzzing. No nerves at all. No better place than Cork as well. Cork, honestly, like we've done the Everyman, we've done the Opera House. They've always been great gigs. Cork crowds are just funny anyway. Mm. So like they'll they'll really enjoy it. It's going to be good. It's going to be some crack. But there will be no roof left when Christy Moore goes in there, trust me. Hey, or other people are allowed in too, if, if like the, the West Watford lads yeah. come across now. Yeah. Or, or any lads from Kerry as well. A couple of Kerry lads are allowed in the old if you want. We are the two Johnnies and we're coming to Cork. We're coming on May the 30th to the Marquee, live at the Marquee. What? It's the Two Johnnies Live Podcast, the biggest podcast to ever happened in Ireland. When are tickets out? Tickets are out this Friday and you can get them on Ticketmaster or 2 johnnies.ie. And please buy a ticket or else we lose the shirt off our back. It's the rent aside. Mm, big money.